Hi there, everyone. This is Tina, and this is your message of the day, and this comes to you on the day of Saturday, May the 4th, 2024. And as you enter this day, you might feel, if you're the more sensitive type of person, a lot of thought, a lot of feeling just coming up and forcing you to think. And some of it might not be positive as such, and you're kind of not really paying attention to where you are and your activities and your daily, daily life as such. You're more concerned about these thoughts coming up than why are they coming up and why I may be forced to think about this, whatever X, Y, Z factor it might be. Just let them keep coming up because there's a huge glow of light within the center of you right now. Just if you take your dominant hand and draw, just however you want to draw. You don't have to be an artist for this and you don't have to do an actual physical orb or something. Just think, just feel and enjoy. Enjoy the process because you're opening up basically your potential to receive the orb of receiving. And you cannot invite anything that you don't want into this orb. Be rest assured it is protected by Archangel Michael. He's right there to the left left side of you right now. However you want to feel him again, his presence, his power, his light, the protection he brings immediately. So you feel disconfident, just even raise your back and just say, I am that I am. And you're ready now only to invite the best into your life. So take your dominant hand, whichever one comes up. It doesn't even have to be a writing hand right now. It's the right hand. (laughs) Think of it that way. So raise it and draw around you from the left to the right side. What you think is an orb of light. You're opening up something. I now open myself to blessed angels of manifestation and wishes coming true and of the Akashic spaces. I now open myself to only the best coming to me, that which I desire and visualize and hope for is present within this orb, with your power, with your guidance, and all that does not serve me, even if it is self-created, will pour into this light and get transformed back into the light, into goodness. No obstacle, no fear, no negativity that is existent or is existing within me right now is going to block this progress. I'm open to happiness in all realms of my life. I just ask you to help me recognize it, how to bring it forward, and to be a source of happiness and love for all around me. So in that way, you don't think you're being selfish or just asking for yourself. If you focus on yourself and you are happy and you extend love forward, love then grows more in the world itself. That's just a law of attraction. Physicality works that way. Whatever you give your focus to, it will create more of that in your life. So why not give your focus this day on purpose, by choice, to love, to visualization, to manifestation, that which you desire. And it, and it's not lost time. Some of you might think, oh, I have this particular age, or I have not done this in, in my childhood, or I have not gone there, or I have not taken this course. Then that's why the reason, or that is the reason you can say, it's coming up right now. Because it is time for you to go into that proper karmic cycle. It's like you're taking a different road and saying, I'm going off this road with blocks and splinters and pain and negativity. Fine, recognize that. You had it, you learned from it, you changed from it. You don't have to live there. That's not your reality. 
You're meant to be happy in mind, body, and spirit in all directions of time. Choose that now in your own way, in your own time, as many times as you need to this day. That's the decision you've really made for yourself. And now as you look at this angel, he's so happy to see how childlike and innocent she is and just literally folded towards the light. Her hands are folded. She's asking. She's praying. She's hoping for. And her legs surrendered totally to the light. That's you. Think of yourself as merged with her. Think of yourself as bringing up your higher self. You are the child of God, recognizing that and enjoying it. Your innocence is not sullied in any way by any mistake you've made in the past or even now. As you hear this message, maybe, you know, some form of argument comes up in your mind. So whatever, right? Let that come up again. Let it be nullified, changed, transmuted, healed by the light. It's just the pain. Pain, you can say hurt part of you, the part that is still carrying the pain, that is reacting. That's why her wings are surrendered again back to God. Again, white, pure, graceful, sweet, simple. There's no great symbols here, right, to remember, or no great direction, or invocation, or numbers, who who is this and what is that? Just you asking that I need help with blessed angels, blessed angelic forces, divine ones surrounding me, help me. Whether it is through mind, whether it is through feeling or both, physical application and signs, and my hope will get amplified to faith. That's why this title, which seems otherwise, if you analyze it too much, perplexing, difficult to understand. Hoping with faith. Isn't hope and faith supposed to be the same thing? How can you have hope if you're faithless? That's why it's saying, if that is occurring, change it back. And you can for yourself. That's why she's surrounded with this huge, sweet bubble of white light. And all the red flowers around her are helping to revive vitality, vibrancy, the passion of life, the living of life, the enjoyment of life, however it has to be. Giving you reasons to hope, to be excited, vibrant, happy. And that's why the dove of peace is coming as an agent of the Divine Ones, of the angelic forces, and saying, I'm here to help you remember when you feel yourself again going off into fear or anger or judgment, which is bound to happen. You're in a human body. You will not remain perfect, but don't blame yourself for doing that. Look at the dove of peace. What is it that I need to do to bring myself back to peace again? And then as she prays, if there's a particular chakra point that you need further amplification of the light, further feeling of the angels, ask for that. Not just heart point, not just heart center, wherever. If it's a lack of self-esteem you have, a fear you're carrying about that, or how will I perform in this particular interview if you're going in a job interview per se, Wherever that fear is rising, it is taking away your sense of self-identity, of confidence, of belief in yourself. So, solar plexus. Ask your solar plexus to be amplified by the light. And see again that circle of light that you just Created for yourself, easily travel to wherever you need. it is you want it to travel this day. Be it a situation, be it a relationship, be it a space, be it your home, the activities you're engaging in, the conversations you're engaging in, something creative you're 
walking into a project, a painting, cooking. I'm just giving you examples. Travel that you have to go forward on to literally grace the road, your mode of travel, how long it takes, all of those details, if they're bothering you, surrender them. Because she's just surrendered. She's not worrying about how it's going to be taken care of. Because see, the ideas and the knowing are traveling into her hair. That's why it's bright and red. Trusting, knowing, believing, receiving. It's that easy. It has to be that easy. And that's why she's also surrounded in what seems to be a landscape of night. But it's basically all of the heavenly spaces without any, you can say, outer trappings in that sense, easily giving what is needed in the moment. And you are just receiving. Just trust. There's absolutely no complication to any form of receiving and understanding and application and enjoyment this day. Just be very much in the moment. Apply all of that more and more to your life. Be in the moment and everything else will sort itself out because you decided to change the moment and you decided to change yourself. Your life will automatically change. But many people might have that concern about the future once more. All those fears, as said before, let them come up. But they will find a way to be solved and why they've come up and what they mean for you now. No fear can rule over you or be your truth you can find a way back into the akashic truth and what works for you and what is best for you ultimate happiness for every realm of your life and it is not insurmountable even now nothing is you've not crossed some barrier or crossed some gate that you cannot walk through again you're right there as you are needed just the way you are receiving the way you can understand it And be unique to yourself. Do not compare yourself to anyone else. Once more, that is very important. To enjoy your uniqueness. And you just decide on what is important to you within this moment again and again and again repetitively this day. Negativity will do just that. Create more negativity, more obstacles, more reasons to fear. Which one sounds better? Reasons to be grateful or reasons to be fearful? Obviously, reasons to be grateful, right? Immediately, you're smiling, thinking about that. Oh, I can do that. Of course. That's why there's a canopy of light above her in the form of flowers, telling you to remember what is real. It has not changed. Give yourself the chance to then Think about your wishes and dreams, that which is most important to you. Keep surrendering it. The doves of peace will give you reasons to feel peaceful, to relax. If you have to even breathe on purpose, do that. If you're very much connected and feeling connected to the elemental realms, to magical magical beings like the Fae, call upon the angels of stars and wishes and dreams to literally create a star, many stars for your dreams and take those forward for you. Again, releasing it with your hands, with folded hands. You decide how you use this even with Reiki, with symbols, with the divine ones, with the form and tradition of religion that you follow. Do not lose that for a moment. It's your foundation. Enjoy it. And claim it back again. It's your strength. It's your power. So the angels ask you to put complete blind faith. While that sounds very easy to do, that all your wishes will come true, and surrendering to the angels with unwavering trust, it doesn't happen that easily. Bring the the ray of God's white, white light on all your wishes and desires right now as has been done before. 
No conflict with colors today. Wherever they come up, again, see why the white light is with them, how it can amplify the better, how it can add grace and divine energy where it might be lacking, where coldness or negativity or pain has come and come forward in some way. The angels ask you to completely surrender your impossible dreams, what you think is impossible to the divine right now. Because in heaven's eyes, when a wish is hoped for, it's already achieved. It's just timing and the perfect form it takes, the journey it takes, and how it comes forward. The actual steps, the arrival, you can say, of the wish. That's where we become impatient because we don't realize what is happening. Heavenly wisdom always has the best in mind for you. So for us here, when we give a wish to the angels, staying in acceptance and blind faith that your dream is being handled by all of heaven and your highest and best is assured. When you surrender in this manner, hope is believing with faith that something is happening when nothing in your life acts as proof of your faith. Unwavering faith, feeding your manifestations with complete hope, ensures you will receive your desire in the best way, the best timing for you. Why? Because you chose to do so. You chose to engage in believing, even when it seems most difficult. That's exactly when it happens. This is a person who really believes. They can achieve because you choose to receive, you will receive it. The law of attraction will just ensure it just keeps flowing in the right direction for you. Fears and doubts just raise their heads, keep releasing them to the angels, to prayer, to writing, to invocation, to requests, to affirmations. You've changed already just doing that because you chose to do it again. Do not worry if surrender is something that does not happen in a moment. Keep on trying the same form of surrender three, four times. But still, it will move because you will be forced to move. You will not be forced to sit still and just say, that's it, and give up. Because you become what? Unshakable. Trusting, believing, trying, moving. That's you. Choose an essence for yourself of the angelic forces. Which one do I need to amplify and which one do I need to really soak in to myself and use to best effect? So, as stated to you before, prayers, visualizations, meditation, anything that helps you keep your heart filled with faith and hope. Music. The power of music. Guided prayer, if you don't feel like you can engage in prayer that is directed by you alone. So lean on mighty Archangel Michael this day. Very much there with the planet, guiding his with his legions of angels that are literally dropping bubbles of hope and light. You can even call upon the, one of these bubbles to come within you or surround the space or situation or concern or space between you and another, to cut negative cords. I mean, all kinds of exciting things can happen. So make a list if you have to, and burn them away. Or even tear up the paper and say, I just let this go, I release this. I no longer choose to be fearful. I accept complete faith and complete hope in this moment. Keep on repeating that. And you say, but... Should I not have understood it in one moment or in one moment of trying? Should I not just be filled with hope? It might not be that easy because there's so many subconscious fears and past life baggage, karmic baggage that you're carrying that is going to come up in this moment. Just keep cutting away, cutting away, cutting away. I cut away all that does not serve me and I choose to be filled with all the essence of light, mind, body, spirit, all the realms of heaven now surround me. And just keep on cutting away. Even if you have to do that 50 times this day, that means you're doing more of clearing work and there's more of you to receive and achieve and enjoy, right? 
the real you is coming forward. So your dream is coming to you, dear one, now. Because you chose to do this, that's why this is the biggest sign that you have, that you can listen to this message and complete it. Accept it with open arms. And just know true faith and real hope always receive the reward of dreams coming true. Just enjoy your dream this day. Act as if already. Many times I just said, and it seems fantastical, that I'm asking for something that seems ridiculous. And I'm acting as if I can't have that car that I want. It's out of my budget. You just see yourself driving in that, within that car and people praising you for that car or whatever it is. Act like that. And say this invocation again and again this day. Supreme results, divine results. Just know this, trust it, will be realized and achieved. Powerful Archangel Michael, I ask you to lean on you today to accept the gift of unwavering faith and a flame of hope that is always lit. I ask for your guidance, your protection, and your constant presence as I apply my faith to all my dreams, bringing them from God to me. Help me release any negative patterns that block me from receiving my dreams. I am that I am. I am light and love, completely protected, completely free, blissfully happy in all ways that matter. And this comes to you as graceful blessings from the angels by me, Tina, and I can be reached at T-I-N-A, S-A-R-U-P, at the rate, hotmail.com. And the supreme glow of heaven that just guides and creates that divine sparkle within you comes through the art of Sue Miller. And Sue can be reached at S-U-E-M-I-L-L-E-R-A-R-T.com. And this is Tina signing off for now. Enjoy a day filled with hope and unbelievable surprises from the divine because you chose to wish and believe in that wish. You will receive and you will just sparkle with everything that matters to you. So bye for now.